super frustrating. The opposite of what I wanted to do. I honestly think I got it on the green. That is in the middle of the fairway. What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name's Tyler and I'm on a journey to become the best golfer that I could potentially be, whether that's really pushing myself to, to be as competitive as possible or, I mean, really, kind of the goal is to, to become a professional. So this is just a documentation of, of that journey and I'm happy for you to hang out and come along with this journey. Today we are here at Mansfield National Golf Club. Um, it's our first time being here. Lex is behind the camera today. Um, we're not really going to do a whole lot of much of really anything. We're just playing golf. Um, I'm going to try to keep my mental game kind of at golf and not really focus on the video. So uh, I'll talk as, as much as I can kind of explaining where I'm at like uh, on the on the course. But other than that, we're really just going to try to focus on golf. I hope that it's going to be entertaining for you guys. So um, we're going to get through uh, 18 holes today. Uh, but this video is going to be two parts, so the front nine is going to be one video, the back nine is going to be another video. Um, yeah, so we're headed to the first tee right now, so we'll see you guys there. Alright, hole one, 363, par four. I got four A little short sorry gotta get up and down for par just shy of the green uh, i got a 58 in hand i haven't been chipping very well and i'm actually excited because of the next couple days uh really hopefully after this video comes out i will have a chipping lesson so i'm super excited about that i have not been chipping well at all so we're gonna not worry about that a lot today but let's get this close get a par Not enough gas. That is a sad double bogey right there, I'll tell you. These guys playing behind us just launched their ball, but they are not accurate with their drivers, which is also kind of why I'm not using my driver right now. I don't want to have to spray and pray, you know what I mean? Double bogey. On the hole number two. Okay, hole number two, 355 yard par four. Pretty straightforward, but I uh, got a four iron again because I don't really want to hit driver like I said earlier. That was a good hit. Okay, so we have we have about 135. Just waiting on the guys to get off the green because they're slow. 135. I have a approach wedge, just kind of like a, kind of like a 50 degree. That's going over the green, folks. It's way over the green. Well, not too much heat. No, I didn't hit it good. I didn't hit under it. I hit in the middle of the ball. I also used my pitching wedge. Ah, stupid. Okay, I found my ball. I. <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize that I had my pitching wedge instead of my my 50 degree, but it is what it is. I found it. It's right here. Very unfortunate because there's the green. Don't have a lot to work with. I'm gonna move it to like right here because there's there's just no way I can move this. But I'm also not gonna take a, a penalty stroke because I'm not a professional. So it is what it is. just happen <laughs> oh uh. All 
my third ball, my chip from the uh, other side of the street. I did not hit it good. I skinned it and it almost hit legs and it hit the curb next to the um, cart path and shot back across the street pretty much exactly where I was uh, the first time. So I re-hit it, went under the tree, went back on it, and then got onto the green and then I two-putted. But three-putted technically. That is frustrating. But as I'm learning, I'm trying to take each hole as a new day. Made a double buggy on the first. And then this one, I don't remember because I wasn't counting. But they're in the past. It's over with. We're done. Move on to the next. Okay, honestly, what we just did, obviously it was off camera. We just let two groups go by. Um, I think for me personally, that's, that's actually a good thing to try to get my mental kind of back back where it needs to be. Also finish the sandwich so that I can have a little bit more energy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hit this part five. Got a four iron, try to just keep it in the fairway and potentially make it a three shot hole so that I can get on, get on in four and try to put for par, try to get close on my fourth shot. But yeah. <laughs> Couldn't see it land, but it was a good hit. So, yeah, about 230 yards. I'm going four iron, four iron, four iron to get on the green in two. I know it's gonna try to play the three ball, but risk it. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get there. I honestly think I got it on the green. <laughs> it was a low flyer, but. That was a pretty good shot. Let's turn this round around. Do a 180 on this round right now. Let's go. Okay, wait till you guys see where this ball landed. Uh, you can go ahead and show them, but. Just on the back side of the green, hit a little long, but I'm gonna putt. So we're gonna, we're putting for Eagle right now and hopefully I'm gonna get it close so we can make a birdie, but. Oh. <laughs> That's a gimme if I've ever seen one. <laughs> what a bird. Turn this round around? <laughs> Turn this round. <laughs> Alright, on to hole number three. That is in the middle of the fairway. All right, I think the thing said about one, <laughs> super close. Uh, it was like 160, at least from the cart, about 160. So it's probably, you're looking at probably 155. Oh! That was a great hit. I felt like I kind of chunked it. <laughs> from our angle, from where we were at, it looked at, it looked like it was about two inches from the hole. The, the part five where I just got that birdie, it really feels like that like boosted my confidence with like everything. So, and as we're pulling up to this, so like that, that shot was great and it like stopped on a dime pretty much, which was awesome. But uh, it looks like we're about seven feet from the hole. I thought we were about three feet. It's a little left to right, it's not moving much. Knock it in for bird. Oh, it moved a lot. Wow. And then the wind picks up. It's all right. Par is still good. On the hole number five. All right. Kind of confused about the yardage on this hole. On the scorecard, it shows 200. On my GPS, it shows 180. Um, I don't have a seven iron because, well, we're not gonna talk about why I don't have a seven iron, but 
Uh, so I'm using an eight iron. I think six would be just way too much. I would hit it where that porta potty is over there. So I'm gonna hit a, I'm gonna hit an eight iron and do my best mentally. I'm telling myself we're hitting it good. So that's that's where we're at. I think that might have been the perfect club, but I didn't hit it good. <laughs> I hit it fine, but it just went right, so. All right, just short, got a 58 degree. Trying to land this close, get a par. Ooh, that was great. Boom. All right, hole number six. Part five, so from the yellow, it's 502. Pretty straightforward. It just goes that way. That was not the best, not the best shot. But it's all good. We'll still have a shot at the green, hopefully. If not, then we'll just do a uh, three shot hole, try to make par. Got about 110, using a 54. Kind of hoping to be a little short, but we should be okay. That's definitely short. Not too bad. Not as close as I wanted to be, but that's all good. Just gotta land this. Not super close because it's gonna release. It's a little left to right, so Let's see if we can't get it close. I didn't do that. Didn't break that much. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's finish it off. <laughs> well, so much for par, I made triple bogey. Okay, we're at hole number seven. Uh, got the trusty four iron again. I didn't see how far it was. I think it's a little over 400. I think it might be in the fairway. It's on the right side. Might be in the rough, but we're right. Okay, so we have about 170 left. Once again, don't have a, don't have a seven iron. Well, it's like 180, so it's that's like my seven iron club. So we're gonna go eight iron and just hope for the best. That went right. Well, we're gonna have a lot of green to work with over there. That's very unfortunate, but oh well. Okay, I got a 54. Not in great position. Uh, we do have quite a bit of green to work with. So I got a 54 because I think I'm going to get too far underneath it with my 58. But let's try to knock this close. Smoked it. Made a bogey. Chip wasn't all that great, but it was honestly better than I was expecting. But can't really two putt in those situations because you got to make par. So on to the next, to par three, 136. Okay, looks like the guys in front of us are just getting drinks. So I'm going to go ahead and hit. It's 136 yards. Um, that's a little, it's like 10 yards longer than my, uh, my A wedge. So I'm going to hit that. Cause I don't, my pitch wedge is too long. So I, I want to try to be as close as possible. So. It's 
Super short and super right. I'm gonna do the same thing as earlier. I'm gonna get the 54. Because it's kind of sitting up in that grass, so I don't want it to flop out and be short. I'd rather just be on the green. Yeah, that was better. I don't think I would have been able to do that with the 58. Thought it was breaking a lot more than it did. All right, on to the next. All right, everybody, we are at hole number nine, the last hole of this part of the of the two-part series. I am, I believe, currently 10 over. Not great, but honestly, overall, I am pretty happy with the way that I'm hitting the ball. I'm having a few miss hits here and there, but overall, fairly happy with it. Um, past couple of holes have been not so great with getting like bogeys and things like that, triple bogeys, but I'm working on it. This is a work in progress. This is not me showing you the best shots. I am literally counting every shot so far. Um, so this is a par four. It's 323 yards, I believe. Um, it's kind of short. I could probably drive it, but like I said earlier, I'm not hitting driver today just to save myself one from embarrassment to probably two or three strokes on every hole. So um, we're going with the four iron and we're just going to get it out there in the middle of the fairway and hopefully have about, I don't know, hundred yards, maybe 120 in. So um, let's get out there and get a par, finish this, uh, finish this hole, hopefully finish this hole, the, the whole, the front nine with the birdie. But if not, then we'll get par. So that's what we're hoping for. Let's get out there and get it. Thankfully that's in the middle of the fairway, but I did not strike the ball well. It hit super far over here. You can probably even see it. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Got about 140, 142. Got a pitch wedge in hand. Let's knock this thing close. Wow. I don't know how that happened, but I hit that straight left. Super interesting lie here. It's way below my feet. Don't swing hard. Don't try to be a hero. Just get it on the green. No. Man, that was so close. Super frustrating. That is the opposite of what I wanted to do. One of my flaws is I'm a perfectionist. Or at least I think I'm a perfectionist. So I just want everything, all the hits to be exactly the way that I need them to be and it's hard when they don't. Well, I have to be completely honest, I am Honestly embarrassed at myself for getting as frustrated as I did. Like I said earlier before I even made the putt that I am seemingly a perfectionist. So I want everything to be as perfect as possible. And when you three, p three putt or you even four putt on holes like that, super, super simple hole, um, it's frustrating. And um, yeah, I made like a seven on that hole and it I shouldn't have. Yeah, so plus 13 uh, through 9. Um, I know that there is a lot of things that I need to work on. Um, mainly is my attitude. <laughs> so, um, I think I lost one ball today. And it was the one that I chunked at the very end. <laughs> because I was mad at myself. But, um, all in all, so far this round um, has been fairly good. I, I don't really know what, what happened really at the end there with the uh, the par 5 with the triple boogie and then this par 4 with the triple boogie, but um, I don't know if it's just like an attitude thing, but I just got to get it in check and I know that and I, and I apologize for my, uh, my outburst there. Uh, hopefully you can forgive me, but that is the end of uh, part 1. 
here at Mansfield National Golf Club. Um, part two coming very soon, so stay tuned. Hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, like and subscribe. Subscribe, honestly, because that would help me out and like the video because um, it really shows if you actually enjoy the content. But uh, more videos to come, and here comes part two uh, probably in a couple days. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Get the freak off of me, bud.